SmartSuite just released a huge swath of updates to its functions inside of its formulas, which makes your formula building experience way better. Now, there's one that kind of flew under the radar, and this is something that I think is going to improve your automations a lot, especially if you're using a tool like Make or Zapier. Hi, I'm Dan Lehman from AutomationHelpers.com, and we're a SmartSuite implementation partner. So I hope that whether you're building your automations on your own or you're using a consultant, that you've somehow heard of this construct of webhooks. Webhooks are really powerful because they allow us to more precisely target when we want to kick off an automation as opposed to listening to all of the data coming through with all of the different updates from SmartSuite. So what we don't typically want to do is just to watch our updated records from SmartSuite and say, every time there's an update to this, then we want to be listening to this because this becomes really operationally expensive for our automations. Now, sometimes we use webhooks, other times we use mail hooks. Either way, we have this ability to trigger these events. And what we do here in this particular example is we might listen for pressing a button, we create this contract, we send some information via URL. In this case, we're creating a Pandadoc template and then we're using that information to create that document, update our account, and there we go. We've got a very simple automation here. So you might be wondering, well, how does this tie to formulas inside of SmartSuite and the updates that we're doing in formulas? Well, here's the reason. Because when we typically use webhooks and we want to send some information across, one of the problems that we had is trying to send that information via the URL. So I'm inside a smart suite and I'm just looking at some records that I want to send the information about the companies across to our webhook to be able to process. Now, in this case, you can see I've got kind of a silly title for this particular company, ANP Industries Rocks. There's an exclamation point. There's an ampersand. There's some spaces between these. Now, if we just had a company like Bloomjoy and we wanted to send this information, no problem. But it's when we have special characters that this is where the information gets a little bit mixed up when we try to send it across. So let's take a look at this button that we've created here and we'll go to modify field settings. And down below is where we've constructed a formula URL to be able to concatenate or connect that information together. Our webhook URL here and yours will be unique. But essentially what I'm doing is we have a query parameter. I'm saying question mark and then we're saying the account name or the account equals and then we're injecting the name of that company here. Well, let's go ahead and click this button for that A&P Industries rocks. And now let's take a look at the information that's processed from this webhook. We were trying to send the account and the name of the account. So this should have shown up as account and then A&P Industries rocks. But this is where it gets tricky because we're unable to parse the information that we sent via the URL correctly. And that's because we have all of these extra characters. So in this case, it says account is A, and then because we had that ampersand, it's treating it like it's a new query parameter here. So it thinks P industries rocks, and then it doesn't even know what to do with that exclamation point. So we're a little bit stuck. Now we could in the past try to replace certain characters and find characters and do things with them, but it's much easier if we can rely on a function in a formula to take care of the heavy lifting for us. So this is where we have the ability to URL encode certain components here. I should have given this a better name for the button itself, but let's take a look at the formula. If we open this up, this is the new function that we have here to encode URL components. So I'm taking my same exact formula I had before, we're still concatenating it, but now I'm saying, hey, before we actually send the name of this company over, we want to make sure that all the special characters that we have are encoded. So all we have to do is take encode underscore URL underscore component, put that in parentheses, put the name in the middle, and now we're able to send that data over. Now let's click the new button that we've created. And you can see when we process our data this time, now we have our account and it's able to translate all of that information with the spaces, with the ampersand, and with the exclamation point. Now, webhooks is just one use case for this. Another really popular use case is if we're using forms. So when I'm in Airtable, let's go ahead and take a look at, I created a formula here. And if I edit this, you can see that I've got a form and then I'm pre-filling all of this information. But again, I wanna make sure that it formats that information correctly so that I can send those variables via URL parameters. So now when I click this URL that I've constructed as part of a formula, let's say it's to update a certain record, now we can see that this actually pre-populates 
with my first name, last name, email address, and phone number. So what does this have to do with SmartSuite? Well, a really popular request is to be able to do the same thing, to be able to pre-fill form fields. So this is something that you can upvote on the Canny board. But what I'm thinking is that being able to add this function to encode URL components is the first step to make this viable to be able to pre-fill our forms. So this is something I'm really excited about, hopefully in the future, that we'll have the ability to do this now that we're updating some of the formula functions that we have. I hope this was helpful for you to see how we can use that encode URL component to make our automations more streamlined and get the information that we need. If you have any questions about your own smart suite setup or your automations that you're building, don't hesitate to reach out to our website at automationhelpers.com where we're offering free 30-minute consultations.